year old, I ate a thermometer with a mercury. I nearly died. And as a consequence, I still have these horrific gagging reflexes. I go cycling most mornings. And out of the blue, they come up. And when they're up, I tell you, it, you know, it literally takes my breath away. I hyperventilate. I tap like mad. And um, it literally is quite... Well, it just takes over everything at that moment until I'm calmed enough. And... Uh, I used to really hyperventilate, at least now I don't do that, but sometimes it even literally sits in my mouth and sometimes I have to stop and do yeah, whatever. Yeah. So if you put that pin in your mouth, you could feel that feeling. Oh my God, yeah. Uh, sometimes, I mean, it, it's not just when I cycle, sometimes even just wearing a chain, sometimes I have to rip it off if it's... Oh, yeah, good so time. it's one of those good ones. Oh, I like that one. So what I like to do, I like to do the gagging one first. All right? Come on up. Bring... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, grab me, grab me, a, grab me a bucket. I like to see puke today. <laughs> Today's a, pu a puking experience. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. You ever smell puke? It's pretty disgusting. Oh God, don't even know that. <laughs> I can't even. You know, if I smell, I have to run the other way. Mask for news. There was any kids in either. Yeah. Good job. Have a seat. I'm ready for some puke. <laughs> now, by the way, you know I'm amplifying it. I'm just talking about it. I'm looking for, and you can feel it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so my, the whole purpose is to associate to it completely as you can. Uh, and you have a specific memory as well. Yes, I was a year old. All right, a year old. All right, so tell us, uh, introduce who you are. Okay, first of all, I'm Andrea. Andrea? Andrea Pusey, and in case you're wondering about my accent, I was born in Germany, lived there 17 years, and then moved to South Africa, lived there 17 years, met my husband, and he's British, and we're here. Okay. <laughs> How long have you been married? Quite a while. 17 years? No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Good. You know, we do have anniversary dates in our mind as well. All right, so let's do this. So you have a specific memory. Mm-hmm. And this is absolutely true. You're not making this no, up. No, not at all. In fact, I nearly died. It was on my first birthday. Apparently, I had a fever. And in those days, they used to give you thermometers with mercury. And for whatever reason, the doorbell rang. My mom went outside. Um, and I must have grabbed the thermometer, ate it. It got stuck in my throat. I was rushed off to hospital. Apparently, they tried a lot of things to get... Because apparently, the, the, the glass was stuck in my throat. They apparently... <laughs> I mean, visualize a year old baby that opened it up and tried to take things out. Now, I always had a fear of doctors. That's why I was always very healthy. <laughs> and um, because I actually, well, talking about suggestion, I mean, I did work on a memory where the doctor said she's going to die. And yeah, yeah. She, they literally told my parents she's going to die. So I went into a coma. And then apparently my dad said, well, that's it. I'm taking her home. And right. well, I'm so, so, so now, emotionally, when you talk about the story, do you see the memory inside your mind, the play? How do you, how do you represent this? When I get the attack, when it's really coming up, in fact, I have no pictures. It's a total, total overwhelm. It's just like, blah, it's just mm -hmm. there. And I suddenly can't breathe. I want to just, you know, mm -hmm. open up everything. So I if have. I grab your throat, that would definitely help make it worse? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, just, just curious. I won't grab your throat yet. <laughs> so so when, you, when you think about this little child internally, do you see memories or something? When I now talk about it, I see memories. I can literally see that little baby. But when okay. I'm in it, i.e. when it's about to happen, right, I'm right, just okay. sucked right in. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do this. Take a deep breath. Close your eyes. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to go back in time. I want you to look at the little girl. I want you to pretend like you got it in your mouth. You got it down your throat. Look at it, feel it, see it, whatever it is. And you know what that gagging feeling feels like as well. So just remember it. All right. Look at her face. Gagging. How strong are the emotions here? You're riding the bike in that gagging feeling. You got it? Notice inside your body. Got it? Mm -hmm. Notice what it feels like. Notice what you see. Everybody tap with me. Pick out one of yours. Say, release and let go. Release and let go. All the sadnesses. All the sadness. I release and let go. Release and let go. All fears. Yes. I release and let go. Release and let go. All the emotional traumas. All the emotional traumas. Helplessness. Hopelessness. 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 All those sensations in my body. All those sensations in my body. That gagging feeling. Gagging feeling. I love to gag. I love to gag. The gag is on me. The gag is on me. Take a deep breath. Blow it out. Say peace. Peace. Now go back to a good memory anywhere in your life. It doesn't matter how old you are or where you are. Just remember something that makes you feel good.
could be where someone loved you, anything. You got one? I feel that good feeling inside. As you feel it, say the word be. Peace. Notice that peaceful feeling. All right, now, let's go back. The little girl who swallowed the thermometer and that feeling stuck in your throat. Can you find it? How strong? Zero to ten. Ten was really strong. Zero not at all. How strong? Eight. Eight. Notice how you know. That feeling. Let it go. That feeling. Let it go. Say it out loud. That feeling. Let it go. Say, I love this feeling. I love that feeling. It gave me value. It gave me value. I got a lot of tension with this feeling. A lot of tension with that feeling. Just let it go. Just let it go. Deep breath. Blow it out. Peace. All right, go back to that little girl with the gagging. Get that thing in her throat. And then, of course, the doctor's trying to get their fingers in there pull it out, aren't they? That feeling, let it go. Say, I let, it go. let it go. Lift your head up a little higher, a little higher. Lift it up a little bit higher. Look up. Up, up, up. There you go. Let it go. No, 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 no. Up, up, up. Say, I'm okay. Up, 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 up. Lift your head up. Say, I'm really here in this room. I'm really here in this room. We're all tapping with me. All tapping with I'm me. not really there anymore. I'm, not really there. I'm so glad I made it. Let it all go. Deep breath. Keep your head higher up. All right. Space. Lift your head up again. Now, of course, you looked at the stars in the sky before, haven't you? Do you feel good outside in the stars in the sky? Yes. All right. You ever experience a wonderful outside experience? All right. Notice that experience and notice how good it feels to breathe in that good experience. Say, I'm safe now. It's safe to let it go. Let it all go. Deep breath. And peace. Now this memory inside you, I want you to take the memory, put your hand on it in your mind, and lift it way above your head. It's way up there. Right, you see it? Feels much better when you do it that way, don't you? Say, it's all over. I'm really here. I survived. I made it. And it's okay to let it go. Deep breath. Peace. All right, now... He's trying to put your fingers in there in your mouth, trying to use your fingers, trying to pull it out. There you go. Lift your head up. It's okay. Let it go. Let it go. That gagging feeling. They really love me. They want to help me. They want, to, want me to survive. They want me to survive. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Deep breath. Peace. Peace. All right. They got their fingers way down in your, in your throat. <laughs> what, what, you have a picture with it? What are you doing? All right, all right. Lift your head up again. You're going back down there. You don't want to go down there, do you? So let it go. Okay. I'm so lucky. Doctors love and love me. They want to heal me. They want me to live. Just let it go. Deep breath. And peace. Fingers way down in your throat. <laughs> Lift your head up again. I'm not there. She's not there. I'm really here. Deep breath. Now, notice that she's going into the trance. You see it? Now, of course, I believe it's just a trance. It's not true, right? So now we can go in and change it. So in your mind, the image in your mind, or what are you doing inside? You see a picture? You feel it? How do you know it's there? It's like I can really feel them putting their hands in my throat. All right, hands in my throat. Now, does it feel good or bad, or is it big? Oh, or it's horrible. Horrible. How do you know it's horrible? I've never experienced this. What makes it so horrible? I can't breathe. All right, I can't breathe. Let it go. I can't breathe. Suffocation. Let it go. I can breathe. I can breathe. Let it go. Let it go. Deep breath. Peace. Peace. All right. I can't breathe. Can you feel that feeling? I can't breathe. And of course, if you can't breathe, what happens if you can't breathe? I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Say, I am going to die. I'm going to die. Someday my breathing will stop. Someday my breathing will stop. That's how it all works. That's how it all works. Every, room, every person in this room will die. Every person in this room will die. And I let go of this feeling. I survived. I made it. I survived. I made it. And it's okay. That's okay. Deep breath. And peace. And peace. All right, again. I'm going to die. Can you feel that feeling? I'm going to die. Well, I did nearly die. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nearly died. You know what that feels like? Nearly died. Let it go. Okay. I didn't die. I didn't die. I'm pretty strong. I'm pretty strong. I'm pretty powerful. I'm pretty powerful. I made it. I made I'm it. I'm so glad I didn't die. I'm so glad I didn't die. And I'm okay. And I'm okay. Deep breath. And peace. All right, feel that feeling, I'm going to die. Can you feel it? How strong is this feeling, you're going to die? Well, 
then it felt like I, I did die. I did like you did die. What does it feel like to die? It's actually quite peaceful because you've gone from the shit. Okay, I let go of all my shit. I shit. I'm glad the shit's over now. <laughs> I'm glad the shit is over now. All the shit. <laughs> all the shit. If I do die, I'll be at peace. I do die, I'm at peace. Living is where the problem is. <laughs> Living is where the problem is. Let go of the fear. Let go of the fear. And that self-torment. That self-torment. Choking and dying. Choking and dying. Let it go. Let Deep go. Breath. Peace. Peace. All right. You're going to die. What does that mean? Is it a big fear there now? No. All right. Now they've got their fingers down in your throat trying to get this thermometer out so you can live and have a husband and children and, and get to experience life. they got their fingers in your mouth. Any emotions or feelings with it? It's interesting. Instead of going going the way saying I give up, it's almost like I should support them and help them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just trying to help out. Trying to help out. I'm trying to be a good girl. I'm trying to be a good girl. I am a good girl. I am a good girl. Doctors want me to heal. Doctors want me to They're heal. They're trying to help me. They're trying to help me. And I'm okay to let it go. And I'm okay to let it go. Deep breath. And peace. Peace. <laughs> all right, again, this little girl. Can you see her choking at all? No, she's actually calm enough. All right. Now, you're riding a bike, and you have that choking feeling. Can you find it? No? Yes? No? No, I'm just trying to bring it up. All right, say, so I'm going to miss that feeling. <laughs> I'm going to miss it's been great entertainment. <laughs> it's been great entertainment. Ever since I was a year old. <laughs> since I was a year old. Who will I be except better off? Who will I be except better off? Deep breath. And peace. peace. Okay. If someone were to wrap their hands around your throat, what would be your reaction? Push them away. Can you, uh, before, what would be your reaction? Make my neck stronger. Your panic. Can you feel the panic as if somebody did put their arms around your throat? Mm -mm. All right. Now I'm going to put my hands around your throat. Any reaction, I'm getting ready to do it. I can't visualize it. All right. I'm going to do it now. Just notice how you feel. Any reaction? Mm. All right. Um, let's see. How can we make this? Can you stick your finger in your mouth? Would you make yourself want to <laughs> choke? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but not too far, okay? <laughs> Sorry, that might get you. <laughs> all right, now this is very serious. <laughs> You've had this problem all your life, ever since you were a year old. Can you feel and create the feeling of choking? Any at all? No. It doesn't look like it now. All right, I want you to bring this back. You've had this ever since you were a year old, and you're probably over a year old now, right? Slightly. Slightly. Okay, <laughs> good. At least you've grown up now. <laughs> All right. So what I want you to do is I want you to bring this back. I want you to find a place, a memory, any way possible to make it come back. I know you're going to miss it. Dentist time. I bet that would help. <laughs> Can you do it? No, no, seriously, do it. <laughs> Don't disappoint me. <laughs> See if you can. I want you to uh, driving, big things in your mouth, whatever, you, anything, fingers, whatever. Can you make it happen? Mm, I'm trying to sort of like smells or whatever I would normally would do it. In fact, this morning I had one of those and you know, I can't bring it up. What was it that you had? What were you drinking? Well, even not the toilet was blocked and it came up and I thought, well, husband. <laughs> so that's that, that stinky smell. Let it go. <laughs> That stinky smell. Let it go. Smell. Let it go. I love the puke. <laughs> Say it. I love the puke. I love the puke. <laughs> Any good reason be a good reason to puke. Any good reason to puke. <laughs> Let it go. Deep breath. All right. Go back to the bathroom this morning. It's pretty stinky. Can you find the pukey feeling? No. All right. You've had this for a long time. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Bring it back. Can you do it? Now, what if we put a pin in your mouth? Can you put pins in your mouth? I couldn't do before, no. All right. Um, somebody grab her pen. Just bring it up. Her pen, because it has all her germs on it. <laughs> 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 okay, here we go. I'm all, all right, there you go. 
Now, here you go. I want you to think about it first. Close your eyes. You're getting ready to put this pen in your mouth. Normally, you would puke, yes? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right. Can you feel the feeling I want to puke with a pen in your mouth? No, I can't bring it up. All right, slowly, gently, carefully. <laughs> what did you have for lunch? That's all I want to know. <laughs> so let it go. Let it go. Let it go. What did you have for lunch? Sausages and mash. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a good mess right here. <laughs> All right, let's test it. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. Take a deep breath. Normally, you couldn't do that. Is that true? Never, no. Never. I mean, Fiona, no. She see me once before. Half an hour was locked in the toilet, and I had to tap them. I couldn't breathe. I was hyperventilating. Yeah, yeah. She knows. She she was there. Very good. How how does this feel now? Much better. It's, yeah. So so well, in so do this. Take a deep breath. Close your eyes. Now I want you to go back in time, and I want you to look at this one year old little girl. And as you look at this little girl, there's a thermometer there. What does she do now? Well, she takes it and looks at it, but only looks at it. <laughs> All right. So see her look at it and puts it back. How good does that feel? Yeah. All right. Now you've had you have children or not? Mm -hmm. Do you remember a time that you held one of your little babies? Mm -hmm. Go back to that time and feel that really good feeling with one of those children. And notice how good that feels within you. Yeah. Notice the exact location. And as you feel this, what I want you to do is send it to that one year old little girl who needs your love. Send it to her. As a matter of fact, go into the memory with her and hold her and tell her some secrets about life. Wrap your arms around her and hold her really tight. Listen to what she has to tell you and just receive whatever this is, whatever feeling it is. And you let her know it's okay now. Squeeze this little girl so tight that she begins to drift all the way inside where you're safe, both of you. And it's okay to let go of the puking. Take a deep breath. Blow it out. And peace. peace. Right, before you came up, you were sitting back here. You used to have a problem. Mm -hmm. right, here's the deal. I want you to bring this problem back any way possible. Can't do it. No. Are you disappointed? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Now you worked on this many times, haven't you? Yeah. Notice how we went inside and kind of started adjusting how you internalized it. Mm -hmm. Big difference, huh? Yeah. All right. Give her a good hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job.